what's up guys this is ronnie welcome back to total technology this is tutorial 14 and today we'll be going to uh, talk about how to assign multiple users to multiple gyra issues uh, uh, from uh, from from one csv file and definitely we'll be going to use rest api and python so in the last tutorial which was which was tutorial 13 in that tutorial we have seen how to assign single user to a single issue using uh, normal python code but in this tutorial we'll see uh, probably uh, there are multiple users and multiple uh, uh, issues you need to assign them by reading from the csv file but definitely we'll be going to use the same api and same python code so if i open my visual studio so if you see here i believe you guys remember this was the last time you used the code actually so we actually uh, like hit this endpoint we did hit this endpoint and here actually this is the uh, uh, issue id and this is the user id so if you use uh, like this code what will happen this uh, uh, this user will be assigned to this issue actually okay so now we have to do the same thing but now we'll be going to uh, do it kind of a more uh, like practical way or practical approach for example you 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 will you'll never know this thing and this thing you have to uh, do it dynamically by reading from a csv file so first of all i'll be going to copy this whole thing okay now remove this one and we'll see we have an input file yes so see this is the u uh, issue id this is the user id this issue id user id so something like that we'll be going to read from this file and we'll be going to uh, do this thing now okay so first of all uh, we have to uh, read this thing so so everything will be done inside the uh, what do you say like here actually inside the for loop okay so what will happen with io dot open and now we'll be going to write issue underscore user okay uh, dot csv and then okay then I'm going to read data equals to f1 okay so now what will happen we're going to print this thing <clears throat> what is there in the data okay but now what i'll do we'll be just going to like uh, make this whole thing kind of commented okay so just hold on yes okay so let's execute this thing okay so i got this whole thing okay so now let's say data equals to data dot split and we'll be going to split this using new line okay and after that what will happen uh, for for row in data print row so now let's see what is happening so every the, uh, 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 what will happen here let me just explain this thing so we got this whole string and after that i'm just splitting the screen based on the new line character new line character so what will happen it will create a list item and every list item is going to hold this thing so so there will be this list will be printed one by one okay see the same thing is printed one by one so now what we will do we'll see so this is payload okay hmm okay so fine so the first element uh, will be uh, this thing uh, split by comma is going to be this issue so what we'll do here let me just do one thing uh, so I'm just just give me a moment okay 
so issue underscore id equals to row dot split okay then it should be comma the first one and this zero okay so this is going to be like this then plus then plus then like this okay and here i'll be going to use this issue id so it, it should be okay this issue id so our url has been completed now account id will be this one okay so this is going to be the same thing uh user underscore id is going to be the same thing but it will be after splitting this is the first uh, like second element so the index will be one okay so those are not familiar with python for them it will be kind of, kind of difficult but i believe all of you are familiar with the course prerequisite so this is done so now if i execute this thing what will happen so issue 38 uh, 37 38 39 40 what are they or what are the things are there let me check 38 up to 41 we'll get uh, like assigned based on the user okay so let's execute this thing i believe i haven't done any mistake yes i believe so everything is inside the for loop okay so let's run this thing first let's close this one okay let's run this thing okay something is happening yeah it's done actually so let me check here yes see kl rahul kr r vk vk everything is like until 41 everything has been assigned actually okay so it's mean it means it means uh, like whatever we are trying to achieve it actually successfully complete so this is actually a very simple thing uh, those uh, uh, like if someone already watched the tutorial number 13 for them it will be kind of very easy because we use the same uh, piece of code only thing is that we use kind of for looping extra that's it okay so let me just make it a bit minimize just hold on yes so for me it will be now easier to take a screenshot to put it in the like here actually okay so this is done this is done so i believe you guys are enjoying the series this is tutorial number 14 and we are actually kind of uh, doing everything very slowly so tutorial number 13 and 14 is related probably in then tutorial number 15 and 16 will be related but if you are not following the series from the beginning then probably will be uh, you'll, you'll find it very difficult to uh, like uh, correlate or understand so that is why the first prerequisite is uh, try to understand the basic concepts of python second thing is that just try to watch the tutorial or the playlist from the beginning then it will actually uh, then it will make sense actually to uh, like go ahead with the flow of this tutorial okay so second thing try to do some sort of practice or else uh, it will not going to help you because watching my videos blindly will not help you in the longer run because ultimately you will be able to uh, will not be able to do anything you will forget because there are so many things so many piece of code you have to write so after watching my video just uh, do the same thing again try to write your own code by your own means you have to write the code uh, write down the code like by typing okay so or else you will definitely forget and third thing i need some feedback good or bad doesn't matter but it has to be honest feedback like if something is missing please tell me if we, if you want me to like uh, change the core structure or the content structure or the layout of the content whatever whatever you feel like uh, helpful please let me know so that i can create some more uh, um, what do you say like more quality content and 
uh, last thing and if you uh, really think this course is actually helping what are the areas actually it is helping you so that you can put this as well in the comments so this will make actually like kind of uh, motivation and booster for other like uh, students as well okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice